Hello there! This is an astrological forecast for Leo for September of 2011 and this also applies if you have a Leo ascendant. So my dear Leos, the first couple of weeks of the month we've got Mars in your 12th house. Mars in the 12th you may feel as though your energy is a little bit subdued or just as though you can't get everything out that you want to get out. Um, you may feel as though mm, you've got all this energy but you don't know quite where to put your energy. Um, for those first couple of weeks I would strongly suggest that you work on your inner self, you take out some meditation time, you take out some quiet time because, and also think about what it is you're wanting, what it is you want to do because the second two weeks of the month we have got Mars into your sign and it's in your first house and Mercury's there for some of the month as well, you'll feel a sudden burst of energy, a sudden feeling as though, yes, now I can move forward, now I know where I'm going, now I know what I'm doing. And it's a wonderful time for putting energy into yourself, for doing things that you want to do and um, there's also been quite a pull with relationships and you may find that um, there's still this pull with somebody wanting something from you, people needing from you and um, you're going to feel right no more. If this Mars in your first house you'll be able to put your foot down and create some clearer boundaries and say right I'm just these are the things that I need and I want now. So this Mars in your first house you, you will feel just this greater burst of energy and I think that will feel much better for you for the second couple of weeks of this month. Um, this month as well we've got Venus into your second and third houses. First couple of weeks it's in your second house so and there's other planets there as well so this month at last you'll be saying Leos this is a good month for money, this is a good month for finances, this is a good month to do something about your finances positively. There should be something positive happening to you financially this month. Really with Venus and the Sun together there in the first week of the month and the trying to Jupiter um, of the Sun in that second house um, to the 10th house, something good coming in the workplace. Maybe an, an offer of extra money, extra pay, um, maybe something you doing something that you really enjoy um, that makes you extra money. So certainly something nice happening this first couple of weeks of the month financially for you. Um, the, the next couple of weeks are going to be very good for studying and really good for those of you who are going back to school or who are at school. It's going to be great those last couple of weeks of the month for studying because we've also got the Sun conjunct Saturn um, which is going to mean that it's good for organising, for planning, for taking on more serious studying and more responsibilities in that area, more serious study and the aspects are very favourable for that for you for this last couple of weeks of the month. So focus on yourself, your finances and some learning. Now I know there's a lot going on in your career. Some of you are feeling as though you're being controlled, as though it's um, you're not free to do all the things that you really want to do but with Jupiter now in this 10th house for this next year remember that there are going to be some new opportunities. Don't lose heart, there are going to be some new things in the work area coming up that will allow you to expand out, that will allow you to do some different things and not feel as though you're a one horse pony and only doing one type of thing and you've got to stay with one thing. I think there's going to be some more variety coming up and also the possibility with some overseas connections and some overseas contacts coming up for you as well. Be aware that um, somebody coming into your life may look wonderful but they may not be quite as wonderful as they look. So be aware of that for you this month and just make sure that you're not giving out too much energy to somebody who maybe has a sob story or maybe who is just draining your energy. Try not to be around people who drain your energy. We've also got Uranus opposite the Sun in the last week of the month. That's going to be from your third to your ninth houses. So could be a surprise from a neighbour or a friend or a surprise trip a sudden trip somewhere unexpectedly where you just have to go at the drop of a hat. And also it could be learning something new or a surprise teacher.
coming into your life who's very inspirational, who really is uplifting and makes you feel very good and also gives you new ideas that you can bounce off and come up with for yourself that are very satisfying and gratifying. So there you have it, my dear Leos. Um, if you might want to ask me a question for $25 about your finances, your work, your relationships, or any big issue that's going on for you in your life, um, and I'll answer it in an email of up to 150 words. Or you might want to have a full reading or a financial reading to focus on the important aspects for you this year and how you can make best use of the energies that are coming up. So I wish you a great month and I thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.